as much as we'd all like the interest rates to go down, if they were to go down to what they were, the house prices would just go go nuts because as, as we don't again we we don't buy what we what we need, we buy what we can afford, right? And that's kind of a problem. That's kind of our issue where instead of getting if you have you have two kids, get, get your nice three bedroom that's you know in the an area you like. Um, but no, we don't do that. We go, okay, we go to, we go to the bank. We say, okay, how much can I afford? I can afford a million and a half. I, so that I'm going to spend a million and a half versus saying, you know what? Yeah. This house is in this area. It's a decent size for my family. It works. Um, and go for that. And it, because of, because of that, that issue, that mismanagement of, of money by, by us, um, sometimes it's just causing the prices to go up and up and up to this crazy amount where again, again, homes that just a few years ago might've cost. Six hundred thousand dollars are not costing a million dollars plus, so it's, 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 it's crazy. I, I have no idea how how to fix it because I don't want the interest rates to be high. I would love them to be lower, but if they were to go lower again, the, the, I'm I'm pretty confident the house prices would just skyrocket. Because, oh yeah, because it's, of, yeah, because there's still so many people out there that yeah. want to buy, and they can't because the interest rates went up. Some people were completely ready; they've saved for years for the down payment, and they got approved. And they never got into market because everything went crazy on them. I feel bad for those people. You know, I'm so glad that I bought a house many, many years ago and got in and did all that because, man, it's a struggle out there right now. Like, when I'm, I have quite a few buyers and I go out there and I see the homes and I'm like, holy, like you look and you're like, this sold for like 1.2 million. Honestly, I remember. And it's like 2,400 square feet, not even, and it's dated a little bit, not even, like, and it's still going. I was like, um, okay, and I'm, I'm going to date myself a little bit, but like, I just remember when I was younger, um, a house for like a quarter million dollars, you're like, what the hell's going on? Like, that's, that's crazy. That's like a quarter million dollars or $400,000 is like, wow, $400,000 $400, now can't, can't get you like a patch of grass. No, so it's, no. it's, yeah, like our first home we bought was almost 3,300 square feet. And what did we pay for it, Randy? 238,000? 238,000. And that was a stretch then because we were young. Like that was even before we got married, but that was 3,300 <laughs> you know, square you know feet. It's cra crazy now. Your, your house costs is a down payment now. For, yeah, for like yes. The... Yeah. Our, yeah, that's so <laughs> right. Yeah, now you have to have that just to be able to go out and buy a home. It, it's. And not only that, like these sellers, they're, they're getting scared. Like they want more and more from the buyer, more and more proof that they have the funds, that they have, you know, the deposit and the down payment and, and they're approved because, the, and not only if they're approved for that, but what if the appraisal comes in short? Now these sellers are worried about the appraisal comes in short. Now my house is not going to close. I bought one. It, it's just, it's. Very, very stressful. I have a few clients that are buying and selling and they are stressed to the max. And I, there's like, you can't help them. You can only educate them, but you can't take down the stress level because the market is what it is. And it, it's, it's hard. Like it's very hard. And then even after they buy or sell, they're like, oh, did I get the best? Did I, did I pay too much? Did I sell too low? Did I? Because the market is like from three weeks ago, what people were getting for their houses to now, there's a huge difference. There's a huge difference in three weeks because the market in June just goes down, right? And and you're not getting the same anymore. Yeah, so and in some cases you bought three weeks ago yeah, so and now you're getting your house ready. And that's why I always tell people, always tell people, but sometimes people just don't listen. If you're out there and you're actively looking and you know you're going to buy, if you find something, start preparing your house now. Start packing up the stuff you don't use. Start getting it ready. So when you find that house, right, all you got to do is get it on the market. Then you don't have to take a week getting things out and clearing up. Start your decluttering now. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And please let us know your thoughts in the comments, as well as any questions you may have. We're live most Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time, so make sure that you tune in. Thank you again for watching, and remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our future uploads.